Hey, I'm Jared, creator of Scout App 2. This is an introduction to Scout App, its features, and how to get started with it. But first off, what is Scout App? It's a cross-platform desktop application for Windows, Linux, and Mac. It allows you to process your .sass and .scss files into CSS uh, without needing any knowledge of the command line. In short, it is the most basic SAS processor. When you first open it, you'll be presented with this screen, which allows you to import multiple projects. If you just got one project, you can go up to File, New Project, and just point directly to it. Otherwise, you can click on this link here and then point to your Projects folder. It'll show a list of all your projects. If there's any of them you don't want to import, you can uncheck the box and then click the green button. You'll see this sidebar will slide on in here and it'll have a list of all the projects you've imported. Um, you can always add more projects by clicking this big uh, red button here, going up to File and New Project again. Um, in this projects panel on the side, you'll see uh, whatever project you have selected, uh, the location of that project on your computer, um, a custom icon, or you can just leave it as Scout the Puppy because he's adorable. And then you've got your input folder and your output folder. Uh, Scout's pretty smart and it'll try and guess your input and output folder. It'll look inside of your project folder for things called SAS or SCSS or CSS or styles, stuff like that. Um, if the guess is wrong, then you can click this little browse button here and point to the right input and output folder. Um, down below, you've got your environment options, so you can choose development if you want to do nested or expanded. Um, and it will also output a SAS map file. And then you've got your production options if you want to do compact or compressed. And then uh, you just click run here. If there's any errors, it will catch it and let you know, hey, you misspelled blue, buddy. Go back and fix your stuff. Um, otherwise, if you run it and there's no errors, you'll see it'll be processed. You hover over it, it'll tell you the name of the project that, uh, that processed it and how long it took to process it. Um, while it's running, you can make any changes in your folder and automatically process stuff for you in the background so you don't need to keep clicking the button or anything. Um, you can also click this big blue button here, Status of All Projects, and you'll see all of them here. So you can hover over it to see this is the My Site project and it had an error, and this is the uh, my cat site project and it processed in three milliseconds. Man, that's fast. Um, you can also kill those later on. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop these guys. You've got some preferences under file. So if you wanted to change your language to Russian or something, you can do that. Um, or uh, English or Netherlands. If you are a native speaker of another language that is not listed and would like to help translate Scout App, you can go to scout-app.io and there'll be instructions there on how you can help out the project. Um, and if you don't like this nice red background, this, this theme you want to change to something maybe a little darker, you can switch over in your theme settings to darkly. And um, of course, this is all being ran inside of a web browser basically. So if you go to view and dev tools, you can actually customize your stuff and, uh, and change the CSS manually. And I'll make another video specifically for that. Um, you'll also see a console over here, which will display errors, which is, um, again, that blue misspelling was put in here as well. So um, if you ever find any bugs, you can check the console and see if there's any error messages there and you can report them on scout-app.io. Um, and that's pretty much it. There's also under the about section, there's this check for updates and it will tell you if you've got the latest version or if there's a new one out. And so you can go to the website and download those. And uh, that's Scout App. That's everything you need to know. Um, let me know if you guys have any feedback or requests for new features. Uh, with, this is under active development, it's open source and it's free. So enjoy.